Hello and welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you an excellent trick for table formatting. Okay, let's get started. Take a look at this worksheet here. I have a sample invoice here. If I press Ctrl P, you can see in the print preview, we have a table here and it is formatted as table and I don't want this design here okay I want a simple border for each row and column nothing else I don't want any color plain and simple but if I click on this table and and click on this table design and here if I click on this drop down you can see I don't have any plain design for it so I'm going to create a custom format okay for that I'm going to click on new table style and here we have a lot of option for our table design okay so first i'm going to name let's say i'm going to write here invoice and now if i click on the format here you have option for whole table first column stripe second column stripe first row stripe second row stripe we have last column first column header row total row first header cell and we have a few more i'm going to select the whole table and then click on format and now i'm going to select a border color to black and here i'm going to select this border line and i'm going to add this border okay so we have added all border and i'm going to click ok and also i'm going to select header row and click on format and here from the fill color I'm going to select this color okay and I'm going to click on font and I'm going to change the font color to white and click OK and click OK again so we have this style already created I'm going to change the name to custom invoice okay now if I click OK and our custom invoice design should be created if I click on this drop down we have two options the first one is custom and the second one is invoice so I'm going to select custom and here you can see our table has only border and we have our fill color on the header and our font color changed to white but I don't want that I want to change the font color to black so I'm going to click here table design and here from the drop down I can see we have our custom design I'm going to right click here click on modify and I'm going to select header row click on format again and if I change the font color to automatic and click OK, OK again. Now we have our table added. Now if I click on the next description, let's say I'm going to write this and I'm going to add the quantity 22, unit price 22 and discount 13 and here is the amount. OK, if I press Ctrl P and this is the table design and I like this design, this is what I wanted. So this is how you can add a custom table formatting in your workbook. If you click here, click on the table design, you'll find your custom design. And you can also modify this design by right clicking here and you can modify it, duplicate it and delete it. Okay. You can also add this design to your quick access toolbar. And if you don't like it, just delete it. So this is how you can add a custom table formatting in your workbook. Remember this formatting will be available in this workbook only. You won't be able to find it if you open another workbook. This is what I wanted to show you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. If you can support the channel through Patreon and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks for watching.